Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and today I have a follow-up video from our last one in which I installed the vinyl racing stripes on our project car, the 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF. So in that last video, I had taken you through my process, and just a reminder, especially to those of you who have not seen that video, that I am a total amateur. That was the first time I ever installed racing stripes. So it was definitely a learning experience for me. I installed the racing stripes, and when I did that during our last video, I installed quad stripes. So the two main stripes down the center, and then smaller, thinner racing stripes, one on either side. And I did the front hood and most of the bumper, and then I stopped there in part because of time, but the other part, I wasn't so sure if I liked the quad racing stripes. So I waited and I let that sit in a couple days to see, is that something that I want to continue with the rest of the car or do I want to change that up? For this car, for such a small car, small hood, and the size of the stripes, the quad racing stripes, I felt like it was too busy. So I did decide to remove those two smaller stripes on either side, and some of you actually inquired about this, how easy it is to remove, and is there a potential of damaging the paint that's underneath it? I will tell you that even though it was five days afterwards, I removed the stripes and there was no residue, there was no blemish, there was nothing that I could tell impacting the paint underneath. And by the way, if you haven't seen that last video, I definitely recommend taking a look at it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. And while you're at it, consider subscribing to the channel. I have two project cars. I have this Mazda Miata. I also have a 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. We do modifications, both cosmetic as well as performance on these two cars. I take you through some how-tos, some scenarios. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done uh, the install, like working with vinyl. I do car reviews and car product reviews, so definitely a, a large mix of content, but all car related. Uh, if you're interested in hearing some of the lessons learned, or if you just want to see some before and after shots and take a look at the final product, I'll take you around the entire car so you can see how these stripes look, then stay tuned. So lessons learned. I will tell you that it became easier as I progressed. Yes, it took me a little bit of time on the front hood, but as I moved to the roof of the car and then the back of the car, I got into a groove. I got into my own rhythm and style of doing things. The vinyl itself became easier to work with as I understood the nuances and just how to manipulate it so it went faster. The 3M knifeless tape, which I had complained about in the last video, that too uh, became easier to work with. And although I complain about it, it's definitely needed. It does an excellent job of creating nice, clean, straight cuts of the vinyl in areas where you have a body, body panel or trim or something underneath that vinyl piece that you don't want to run the risk of cutting into. Use that knifeless tape. And my pro biggest problem, again, take a look at the video if you haven't, but my biggest problem was just separating the filament from the filament holder and to get that going and get that ripping off. And after a while, I really developed my own way of, of separating that and it became much faster. So I'm not gonna take you through all my lessons learned. And the reason for that is I had published a video in which I did the window trim chrome delete on our other project car, the 2019 Honda Accord. That involved applying a gloss black vinyl to the chrome to delete it. And I did publish a video with a lot of lessons learned and I used those lessons learned myself when I worked with the Mazda Miata in installing the racing stripes. So again, if you're interested in trying this yourself, I would definitely recommend taking a look at the Honda Accord video. Yes, it applies to a Honda Accord, but a lot of lessons learned uh, from that regard. And then taking a look at the previous video to this one in which I started off by installing the stripes. So a lot of good information there. I had commented about removing the stripes on either side and the fact that there was no discoloration, no residue, nothing left over on the paint. Hopefully that stays that way in the long term. 
But I want you to know too that I washed the car and at least based on my style of washing the car, I didn't feel as though the vinyl was gonna pull up at all. Now, I didn't use a buffer, an orbital buffer of any type. So it'd be interesting to see as if you were applying a wax, a polish, a compound to your car, if doing so had any impact on the vinyl, on the edging of the vinyl. And maybe I'll try that out in the future. Just to... So I'm really excited about the outcome. I think this car looks phenomenal with these white stripes. And I had my family over this past weekend and they took a look at it. And while some of them are not totally into cars, I know, I know, but bear with me, not totally into cars. I did get a lot of compliments. And I have to say now, just having this for a couple weeks, it's almost as though, I don't know how I could go back to not having that accent. It's, it's as though it was a blank slate just waiting to be customized. I was considering black. I was considering silver. I was considering gray. I think all of those would look really nice, especially on this machine gray. I went with the satin white because I wanted it to pop. I really wanted it to stand out and add some contrast, and I think it does. Every time I come out and I look in my garage and I see this car, I'm really happy with how this turned out, and um, I'm excited to do more with this car. You know, I think in the future, I am going to consider doing more things with the vinyl. I liked working with it. I'm not gonna go too crazy. Uh, I just want to see what's possible in working with the vinyl. If I start improving and continue to like working with the vinyl, there might be some bigger changes in the future for the Mazda Miata. So how do you think that went? Yeah, I don't know which one of these I like. I also wanna try to get some green samples, like an emerald green, a British racing green. Did you turn off the camera? Is it still on? <laughs>